Hello, it's Sarah. And I have a couple of projects I want to share. Um, I have been painting a lot lately. Um, still painting. And we'll be starting the Polymer Clay Virtual Retreat starts in January. So I'm looking forward to playing with my Polymer Clay. But I did do a couple of paper crafts I just wanted to share. Um, this is a little name plaque that I made for Maya, who is my granddaughter. And I used a simple letter font for from my Cricut. I don't remember exactly which one, but I kind of just, I don't know. She's only in second grade, so I just made it in um, printing. And then I just added some stickers and a few flowers. I just kept it real simple. Um, I, the, the fantastic tutorial for this is by Christina Thomas. Um, it's called Nameplate Tutorial. And she makes hers um, with a crackle background. So she paints it, then puts a crackle finish on there, and then paints over it with white. And it's gorgeous. And I have to say, um, being a painter and painting for all these years, I've tried crackle lots and lots of times in lots of different ways. Um, used lots of different crackle mediums. There's folk art, Americana, deco art. They all make crackle. Tim Holtz has crackle now, too. Um, but you have to watch. This tutorial is fantastic. She does such a great job with her crackle. Um, it's, it's awesome. So I didn't do that, but I did just use her construction. And this is just made from chipboard. And um, it's for Maya's desk. She loves to play teacher. And so she would be the teacher. And this is going to sit on her desk. And I just put some stickers and some flowers. Real simple. I just kept it simple. Use black um, chipboard, black cardstock, and um, like I said, some letters from my Cricut. And there you have it. I'm going to wrap that up. I think I'm going to have to stick it up a little bit first. And then I'm going to wrap it. Um, but that was just the last minute idea because the desk that I used to craft on is in the basement still. And we've kind of made it into... A teacher's desk for her so she loves playing teacher so anyway um, the other item I made is this gift box it's actually a gift card box I'm not gonna open this one but this is for um, my sister-in-law Donna um, and it's a gift card candy box I'll show you this is actually by uh, Dawn 5377 it's called gift card candy box and so you can see it's dimensional it's kind of like a crayon box or almost like a cigarette box I guess or something but the um, the ribbon is more of a belly band so you just it, you can either slide it down or just pull the um, the top open and watch what happens when you pull it open well, there's no gift card in there. That one stunk. Sorry. <laughs> For demonstration purposes, it's more fun to see a card come out. So this is just another one. I just used, this is some Martha Stewart paper, I think. Um, and I used craft card stock and black card stock. So again, I'm just going to pull this down a little. Shimmy it down. And flip this open. Hopefully there's a gift card in here. We'll see. Yay! There's a Wawa gift card. But look how it comes up. Isn't that cool? So I put a card, gift card in there, but then look, you can also put a couple of candies. So I just put like a Hershey Santa and a Twix Santa or something. Um, it fits like probably a whole Twix candy bar or, you know, I mean, you could put any little gifty item that would fit in there. I just think it's super cute. And then a gift card and then it goes back down and you close it and put your belly band back over. So this is, again, I said Dawn 5377, and I actually saw it first, um, oh no, I want to say Paige. Paige, I can't think of your, um, your uh, YouTube name. Oh man, but anyway, I was watching one of Paige's videos, and she had made these, and I so I went to the tutorial, and there it was. But isn't that because it pulls the card up? I just think it's so cool. It's a little pocket. So I made a bunch of those in different colors, and I don't have like a tag punch, so I just used this little, um, I have a ticket punch, so I just made little tickets and kind of hung them from it with the names. I didn't put names on them. 
Um, like I said, I have my sister-in-law, but if anybody else pops up, I mean, it's already tomorrow's Christmas Eve, but I think my um, nieces and nephews and stuff will probably get a couple of di different gift cards and stuff like that. So, um, all right, so that's my paper crafty items. Might as well, I have a couple of minutes. I just wanted to show in the last video, I was talking about the Renee Mullins website, and these are some of the other items that I've painted of Renee's too. This is a little tissue box cover, the paper mache tissue box cover. And this is one of Renee's Santas and he comes out every holiday. And that's from 03. And then this is a metal tree that I painted and I don't have the date and that's why I tell everybody to put their date on their um, pieces. So when you look back it's fun to see, oh I painted this then, wow. But anyway, that's one of, another one of her little Santas. So I just wanted to share those because I had them out when I videoed the last one and I forgot to show them. Um, all right, you guys. So that's it. Thanks for watching.